Okay, one of the things here. Yeah. 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 I just bumped the camera. I hope I didn't send a video up to the scene. Yeah. Cooper's a very nice dog. He's an eight month old dog, though, that hasn't had the leash on and knows when it's not on, which is probably most of the time. Good. Good. Yes. So he's an energetic dog. He's attention seeking. Yeah. He's all of that. And he can be a very good dog. The problem is, he's learned that when he wants, you can't control him. Because if you don't have a leash on him, he's learned he doesn't have to listen. He's learned you're not fast enough. You're not, you can't go every place he can go. And he's having a ball. It's attention seeking behavior. Even if you're yelling and screaming at him, he's still having fun. And there's no clear communication unless you're using the leash. If he starts jumping on me and I have a leash on, I say, no, sit. Or I'll walk with him or I'll make him do something that I want him to do. I've seen by working with him that if I drop this leash, he's a different dog. So it's clear that he knows the game from his perspective and we've got to change that. Right? Hey, Cooper. Hey, how's it going? So you can just see his game. Hey, Cooper, right here. Sit. Yes. I could do stuff like here, crawling all the time. Give him some. No, sit. Good, good, yes. Here's Cooper. You can see why. Hey, here. Cooper, here. And now he's going to start just playing around and jumping and everything. Cooper! Hey, I got the ball. Cooper. So I could take the toy and engage him with the toy and then I grab the leash. Or if he's near me, at first with the dog, a young dog, you should be holding the leash all the time. Eventually, no, you know, and no means no, it becomes a drag leash. But if he's wearing the drag leash at the point where, see, if you're telling no, and you're not holding the leash and he doesn't listen, you're going to have a dog that knows he doesn't have to listen. If he's doing something wrong, and I step on the end of the leash, and then I pick it up, or however I get him to me, now sit. And I'd say probably the biggest problem with him is he knows that when you don't have a leash on, he doesn't listen. It's probably at your house, it's been a lot. So that's in the house, in the yard. This dog is a lovely dog. He's very playful. If kids run and yell and act like kids, they'll treat dog and treat them like litter mates. Tackle them and lift them. Everybody has to learn how to do sit. The well-disciplined sit and watch. Good, something you can tell him he's a good boy for doing. Good, good, yes. Heel. Good heel. Heel. Now you get into the point where I was obedience. It starts to be done with the leash over my shoulder. Heel Cooper. It's there when I need it. Heel. But I let the leash drag to start to be playful. So instead I can do it this way. Heel Cooper. Cooper, sit. This leash over my shoulder never, ever, ever goes around my neck. It's over my shoulder. If something happens, it falls off my shoulder. But the idea is I can get him to start to realize, here Cooper, that I have the leash here if I need it, but he sees his hand, there's no leash in it. Cooper, up, and boy. Cooper, table, sit. I like sits on the table. Watch, it's nice, I don't have to bend down. Good, good, yes. Watch, good, good, yes. Here. After he's gone out, sit. We do our off. No, I want to, I'm not asking you to shake hands. If you can shake hands, it could be a trick, but it shouldn't be every time you meet somebody he starts flying off. I don't want to be touched by his mouth or his nose. Sit. Good sit. Sit his four feet on the ground. Good. I don't want him jumping. If I if he jumped up right now, he could break my nose or my glasses. Good sit, Cooper. I've always got one hand on the leash. Good sit. I'm not giving him one of those. I'm not trying to get him excited. Got to do the opposite. Good sit, baby. Good sit. You've been doing it good? Yes. Now, also, if he gets real playful, if you have his favorite toy, I don't leave the ball on a rope out because I'll shoot the rope out. But I will teach him to get the ball. Take it. Yeah. Good. 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 And what I have to do is I have to take the slack out of the ball so I give him a nice target for him to go to. And now I call this rock and roll back and forth. He drops it, he loses it. 
Do it now. You'll have a better dog later. 